My name is Rachel, and this is my worst day ever. I am from the Midwest, okay? I'm from Minnesota, where the ranch runneth over, okay? There's a lot of creams and cheeses and dairies, but what there is not a bunch of, which I learned the hard way, is that they're a little bit stingy with the pap smears. And I know this because when I turned 18, I went to the doctor to get a happy pappy. Blessed be my fruit, may the Lord open. Okay, let's pop the hood. I went into the doctor and I said, excuse me, may I please order one pappy? And she was like, for sure, no problem. I just need to ask you a few just normal questions. And then she asked me, are you sexually active? Now at this point in my coming out career as a beautiful hot, young, 18-year-old lesbian in the Midwest, I hadn't quite gotten to the stage of being comfortably able to tell strangers that I'm just a gay woman. So I got a little weird, and I looked right at her, and I said, yeah, but like you wouldn't imagine. Which is a weird answer, and I will give you that. It is strange. But also, in my defense, she's a stranger, a doctor, and was like weirdly rocking her white, like, lab coat, so I was nervous, okay? But then she saw my Birkenstocks, and she was like, oh, okay, you're a lesbian, got it. And then she said this to me, you don't need to get a pap smear because you're not having normal sex. <laughs> to my gay face, this is what she said, to my gay face, that heteronormative baloney. So I was like, I packed up my pussy and I left. And then I moved to Los Angeles, not for fame and fortune, but for the paps. Even the men get pap smears out here. I went to my doctor, round two, I said, please, let's pop the hood. And I was like, I guess a little too confident because I don't know if you guys know anything about pap smears, um, but they're super intimate. They get in there. You're wide open spaces for the world. And what I wasn't prepared for was the amount of silence in the room. All I could hear was my gay heart beating and like paper wrinkling. And what I should have done is let that moment lie and just move on with my silent day. But I'm a comedian, you know, I'm a clown lady, I gotta say something. So right before the moment of actual penetration, I look right at my beautiful doctor's eyes, and I just said to her, come on in, the water's just fine. To a medical professional, okay? I put my foot in my mouth, she put her fingers inside of me, and we just looked at each other, both scared, both not knowing what to do, and yeah, it was too much, okay, and that's on me. But from now on, I'm just gonna start wearing shirts to the doctor that just say, I'm here, I'm queer, give me a pap smear. <sighs> that was honestly the worst day ever, for me and also I think for my gynecologist.